Commanders hold the number two pick and they hosted all four of the top QBs at once this week. That was interesting, along with a number of other draftees. But here's GM Adam Peters explaining all that. What was cool is while we got to see them all together in a group setting at, at the Top Golf, which was really fun, and I think everybody had a, a great time, and it was very beneficial to see everybody in a more relaxed environment. They all got a lot of time individually with with their coaches, with us, you know, where they were staggered coming in too. So it wasn't like they were sitting in a room together. They all had their own individual time with everybody. So it worked out really well. And then you got a great blend of that, and then and then working uh, everybody together, you know, in, in a fun environment. We feel great about staying at number two. I don't see a whole lot of scenarios where we trade down. So the commander is not given too many hints on who they'll take it to. That makes sense, keeping it close to the vest. And DJ, in your opinion, not predicting here, but which quarterback do you think the commanders should take at yeah. number two overall? Uh, for me, it's Drake May. It's been that way throughout the whole process. And that's not to say I don't like Jaden Daniels. I just... I like Drake May a little bit better. And in this situation with DQ as the head coach, who's been to a Super Bowl with a guy like Matt Ryan, I think there's a lot of similarities when you think about the journey for those players. Matt Ryan didn't play with a whole, you know, unbelievable supporting cast there at Boston College. There were some turnovers. There was some concern about decision making. But what he did have, he had size, he had arm strength, he had elite makeup, intelligence, work ethic, all those things. And I think with Drake May, you check all those same boxes and the division you play in, the weather you're going to play in, in that division, I like the bigger, more rugged Drake May for the Commanders. DJ, they had plenty of time to figure it out. Caleb Williams, we know, has been going number one. They had, obviously, a decision between two quarterbacks here. And Jaden had the clean year. He did everything right. He's got an incredible skill set. Drake May, skill set ideal, but he had some struggles later in the year with his accuracy. So, overall, I'd go with Jaden slightly over Drake May. Drake May, to me, would need to sit for a year. But if he's forced in there, hey, that's what happens in the National Football League. Very rarely are quarterbacks afforded that opportunity. But for me, guys, it's Jaden Daniels. That would be the pick for me at number two. Well, DJ, sorry for the lack of hospitality from Mel and I both disagreeing with you and picking yeah. Jaden Daniels over Drake May, but pretty compelling case for Jaden Daniels to go number two overall. We can talk about all the great things that each of these players does, but ultimately it feels like you actually have to play 11-on-11 11 11 football when you're defending Jaden Daniels. I mean, with quarterbacks who don't have the same level of mobility that he does, and he's the best in this class specifically in that regard. It kind of is like playing at least 11-on-10, 11 11-on-10 10, 11 and a half, but Jaden Daniels this past season stressed defense is so much. I mean, he changes the geometry of the field with his legs, but also a precision passer. Had a breakout year this year as a thrower. So good throwing the football down the field. Led to those 31 combined receiving touchdowns for Brian Thomas Jr. and Malik Neighbors. Ultimately, it's a good problem for the Washington Commanders to have, and I think the Patriots in a really good spot at number three if they go quarterback because there is no consolation prize in this year's draft class. But like mm -hmm. Mel, I lean towards Jaden over Drake May. Yeah. All right, I'll make it an even split and side with our guest, uh, Daniel Jeremiah, because I also have a slight preference for May. And I say slight, I think very highly of Jaden as well, and I feel Galeb as the clear number one. But I think with pick number two for the commanders, you want to take a quarterback who you truly believe can be one of the top ten quarterbacks in the NFL. And when I watch May, I see a lot of the traits that I see amongst those top quarterbacks in the league. The arm talent, the ability to throw deep with touch and make throws from every platform. There is dual threat ability there. He can scramble, pressure mitigation, playmaking outside of structure. When May breaks the pocket, he's looking to throw. I actually view this as probably the biggest point of differentiation between him and Daniels. Mm. In the same way that your Mahomes is, your Allens are looking to throw. Lamar Jackson, when they're scrambling, they're looking to throw downfield. Um, there are legitimate concerns about decision making and accuracy that maybe worry, make you worry that while the ceiling is really high, the floor could be lower than Daniels. I accept that. But I think with May, given that he's a couple years younger, you feel like he's still a little bit earlier in his developmental, cur his developmental curve, pardon me, and you can draft him and then potentially reach that ceiling down the road. And one other thing to, to put a button on this, look, I think they're both great players. Uh, one thing about this commander's team, they have those second round picks. I sure hope they move back up and get one yeah. of these tackles mm. because whichever mm. one of these quarterbacks they take, they have got some work to do on this offensive line. That's a really good point. Uh, by the way, to Mina's point, it's worth noting May's only 21 years old. Jaden Daniels is 23. Not that much difference, but he still is younger. 